this year. And when God is present, you cannot remain the same. 当神与我们同在的时候呢，我们不能够继续的跟以前一样。You know how sometimes you go, you you enter into the presence of someone significant, someone outstanding, and you go away from that meeting feeling, I felt something. You know that was such a good meeting. That was such a good PT personal time. So what more when you enter into such a presence of the Almighty God? 有时候呢，我们跟一个人见面的时候呢，会当我们啊、呃、离开了之后，我们会觉得，哎呀，刚刚的那一个聚会呢是多么的好，的的好。那么你好像呃遗漏了某一个部分，所以更何况是在教会里面，当我们与神同在的时候呢，呃，我们当然会更加的感受到他的同在。May our church coming Sunday after Sunday be may may it not be done legalistically. Traditionally, I come because I'm a Christian. I got nothing else to do. Come with an expectant heart. So we, uh, one day for one day, one week for one week, one day to come to God's temple. So we have that kind of heart, which is we really hope, we really expect God's touch, and not because we have that kind of spiritual heart. It's just because I'm a Christian, so I have to come. As you come to the house of God, you enter into the throne of grace. So we have that kind of heart, which is we really hope, we really expect God's touch, and not because we have that kind of spiritual heart. As you come to the house of God Sunday after Sunday, you come onto the mercy seat of God. So we, uh, one week after one week, in every Sunday, we come to God's mercy seat. So we, uh, one week after one week, in every Sunday, we come to God's mercy seat. So we, uh, one week after one week, in every Sunday, we come to God's mercy seat. So we, uh, one week after one week, in every Sunday, we come to God's mercy seat. Everybody, 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 I mean, there are some similarity with the words grace and mercy, but they're not the same thing. 虽然呢，这两个字呢有一点的相同，但是呢，他们不完全的一样。God, our Creator, our Father, for those of us who accept Him as our Father, you know, if you have not accepted Him as your Father, you are His, you are His creation. He is, He is your Creator. That's that's precious, but it's more precious when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Then you become His child. You know, God is able to deliver into our lives perfect. Everybody say perfect. Okay, only God is able to give perfect things. Okay, not your husband, not your pastor. No one and nothing is able to give. You say, oh, you look perfect. No, you're lying. I don't look perfect. Nothing of this life is perfect. And who can say amen? Except God. Oh, the baby, your baby is so perfect. No, baby is not perfect. Nothing in his life is perfect, but God, and who can say Amen? So people can try and give us grace and mercy, but they are imperfect grace and mercy. You can have, you can have an amazing friendship. Trust me, you can call it perfect. It's not, all right? When God gives things that's perfect, so grace meaning we receive perfect things from God that we don't deserve. 嗯、um, ，当我们接受主耶稣基督呢为我们的救主的时候，我们跟神之间呢就是有一个孩子跟啊、呃、父亲之间的一个关系。所以，当我们有这个关系的时候呢，神给我们的那个恩典呢是完美的。所以，所谓的这个恩典呢，就是我们得到的这个恩典呢是我们不配得的，但是呢是完美的。So grace, I say this again, both grace and mercy are things that you receive. Okay, so grace is receiving good things. Blessings, love, perfection, dying on the cross for me, giving me your life. What? Not receiving all these good things that you don't deserve. That's grace. 恩典的意思呢，就是我们得到神的祝福，我们得到所有美好的事情呢，来自啊神本身，而是我们不配得的。Mercy on the other hand is you receive all the forgiveness, all the all the bad things that we are supposed to receive because we are sinners. Okay, we were sinners. We ask even, even as believers, we are still in this journey of sanctification. We are still falling now and then. We are making mistakes. Okay, mercy is not receiving all the bad things that we are supposed to punishment that we are supposed to get. You know, the smacking that we are supposed to get for being foolish children of God now and then. So mercy is receiving all this forgiveness that we don't deserve. 
being refrained from the punishment that we are supposed to receive, but we are not getting. So that's mercy. So know the difference between grace and mercy. They mean the same thing. Then there will be just one word. But the, the word of God clearly tells us that God is able to pour into our lives perfect grace and mercy, and we need it. We surely need them. We need grace and mercy. 而怜悯的意思呢，就是说，呃，我们。呃，还我们每一个人都是罪人，我们还在这个成圣的这个旅程当中，所以呢，我们的生活里面呢，我们有很多事情呢，是我们应当领受的那一些惩罚，但是呢，因为神的怜悯，所以呢，我们没有啊、呃、受这个惩罚，我们完全呢得到得着了这一个啊、呃、赦免，所以呢，这就是所谓的怜悯，所以恩典和怜悯呢是两个不同的意思。And I remember I'm I'm doing a little bit of emphasizing on this definition of. Grace and mercy this morning, because as believers we tend to forget. We tend to forget the grace we receive from God. We tend to forget the mercy we receive from God. We are forgetful. Tell the person beside you, I'm just like you, forgetful. Come on, say, I'm just like you, forgetful. I know we we are forgetful. In Jesus' name, we will remember better. Who can say Amen? We cannot afford to forget the things that we need to remember, like the grace of God. We sometimes the way we speak, just because we have a little problem, we speak like as though we've never tasted the grace of God. We become ungrateful. Something small happens. Oh God, no, no, no! You forgot the grace of God. You forgot the mercy of God. Hello, wake up. We must remember. We must meditate. Everybody say meditate. meditate. Meditate is more than believe. Okay, meditate is is continuing to believe even when things is not going your way. Who can't believe when things is going your way? Who can't believe when you come to a church like that? Everybody say, "Amen, Amen, Amen, Hallelujah." We all can believe, but can you still believe when you get out there? When you're the only one who believes, can you believe when you just had a COVID and you're like, "I can't drag myself out of bed"? Can you still believe? So we need to never forget the things that God has done for us. And this morning, I want to say, and especially mercy. I mean, grace is super duper equally important, but it's related to my sermon. Never forget, we deserve hell. Every human, the Bible says, I didn't write that. That's in the scriptures. Every human born, not because God created us for hell. God didn't create us for hell. Okay, God created us for to be in a relationship with Him for eternity. We, as a human race, okay, and it began with our four forefathers and mother, friend Adam and Eve. Says the Bible, and I believe it. You know that we have fallen. We have chosen sin over God. And that's why anyone born after Adam and Eve is born with sin, and that is why you don't teach, you don't have, you don't. You, I mean, how many of you are here, are parents? How many of you are parents? You don't need your, you don't need to teach your child how to do bad things. They just know it. You don't need to tell, teach your child how to lie. He knows how to lie. Are you listening? Are you following? So we all sinners, like it or not. You don't need to go to school to learn how to sin. And that's why we need Jesus. So Jesus came, and because of Jesus, we have the mercy of God. We all deserve to go to hell. We all deserve it, but we have the mercy of God upon our heads. How dare we forget? Today, 早上我们要强调啊这两个字，一个是啊恩典呢，一个是怜悯。为什么我要强调这两个字呢？那是因为我们人是善忘的，所以呢，我要提醒我们，其实这两个字呢是非常重要的。但是今天早上呢，我要特别强调的呢是怜悯这一个字，因为呢，今天早上这个怜悯这一个字呢，跟我的奖章呢啊有关系啊。我们其实有时候我们忘记了，我们其实啊，我们的最终的旅程呢，如果没有主耶稣基督的话呢，那是地狱。但是呢，我们因为有主耶稣基督，所以呢，我们得着了这一个啊、嗯、怜悯。所以有时候我们生活上遇到了很多的难题，我们就会觉得说我们不懂得感恩，我们忘记了神对我们的那么多的美好。You know, for the life I lived for the first 24 years of my life, you know, most of you know, I was sleeping around, I was selfish, I was self-centered, I lived my life just for me. You know, for for the life that I lived in the past. I don't deserve to stand in front here and worship God and speak even the name of God. It's the mercy of God that enables me. Same goes to you. Same goes to you for the sins that we have committed in our lives. But yet we can come to a church. We can come to a church not because we are good. We are able to come to the church and stand before God and say, "God, I love you. I worship you." It's because of the mercy of God. 
And who can say amen? Let's be grateful. 所以在我二十四岁以前呢，我的生活呢是多么的糟糕。我活在罪当中，我到处呃跟人家呃过夜那一些呃，但是因为是神的怜悯呃救赎了我，让我今天呢能够因他的怜悯而站在这里能够分享神的话语。所以我们每一个人呢也是得着了这个神的怜悯，让我们能够啊、呃、继续的啊、呃、前进。所以我们不要忘记这一点，是神的怜悯。So let me present to you the chapter for this week. Okay, so this is not just for today. Please dive into this chapter. Please dig into this chapter of the week. Tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, go back to Second Corinthians chapter four, because this is something each chapter each week you come on Sunday. I give you a chapter, being led by the Spirit of God. I spend time with Him. I say, God, give me the chapter of the week. And if God has been, week after week, He has been faithful. Who can say Hallelujah? To never, who can say hallelujah like you mean it? Yeah. Hallelujah! Okay, week after week he never failed to give us a chapter of the week. But week after week, I'm not sure if you guys are digging into the chapter that God, the Lord our God has given us. So this week it's Second Corinthians chapter four. And if you want to flow with what God is doing in this church, in this community, you got to dive into the chapter of the week. You know, you'll be just a visitor. You got to dive and say, God, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. What are you saying to us as a community, as a church? Speak to me, Lord, deeper. Like on Sunday, you come, I give you a kickstart. I introduce the chapter to you, but you are to go back and read and listen and study, and you're going to be blessed. Your family is going to be blessed. Your children is going to be blessed. Your grandchildren is going to be blessed. And you can say amen. Lazy people, you don't expect blessings when you are too lazy. Okay, don't expect to be blessed when you are too lazy because God. Hates laziness. It's in the scriptures. Who can say amen? You are too lazy to, to turn to God's word. Don't expect anything. Turn to the word of God and get ready to be blessed by God as you dive into Second Corinthians chapter four this week. 一周复一周呢，啊，我们的神呢是信实的，因为他每一周呢都会给我们一章啊。那么这一个星期呢，就是我们要来看哥林多后书。啊，第四章。所以今天这个分享这个讲章呢，只是一个开始。在这整个信息里面呢，我们应该潜入，更加的深入的去了解这一个哥林多后书。因为当我们去了解，更加的深入的去读、阅读、默想这一章的时候呢，我们会蒙福。不只是我们本身会蒙福而已，我们周遭我们的爱的家人们、我们的朋友们也会因接着我们而蒙福。And for those of you who don't really like reading, then you can listen to the audio Bible. And there's very few verses, short chapter. I didn't. I don't deliberately choose a short chapter or a long chapter. I don't. That's not my style. I ask the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God led me, and led. I was led to Second Corinthians chapter four. And for congratulations for those who don't like reading, only eighteen verses. <laughs> All right. So please do it. 所以，如果你们不喜欢阅读的话呢，呃，其实我们有这个有声福音，所以呢，你们可以啊、呃、聆听。那么，呃，如果你就算你不喜欢阅读的话呢，对你来说这一章呢是一个好消息，因为这一章里面呢只有十八节。So for those of those of you who are listening to Elder Cheryl's announcements earlier, she mentioned every Thursday we come for fellowship. So one of the key thing that we do on Thursday is to discuss the sermon that we we listen on Sunday. So we allow people to share what they heard.、So、that's really good. Besides eating together, besides praying,、so、on Thursday we do that. Sometimes you come to us, you come and then, unless you're doing it with your family at home. I mean, how many of you do really do it? If you do it, hallelujah. You know, so you're looking for a place that you can talk about the sermon you heard on Sunday. So we do that on Thursday. So come on Thursday, come and have fun with us. 所以啊、嗯，这个星每个星期四呢，如果你刚才有听到我报告的话呢，每个星期四我们都会有这个团契。那么呃，在这团契当中呢，我们就会分享啊、呃，这个星期我们学了的那一个神的话语。那么所以这是一个很好的地方呢，我们能够可以分享我们啊、呃、在星期日的领受。So I entitled this precious chapter, this sermon today, children servants. Everybody say children servants. 那么这一章的题目呢是孩子仆人。Okay, so we, I think a lot of people understand that when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. You know,、uh, hallelujah! Supernaturally, we are transformed from enemies of God, or from pure cre- creation of God, into children of God. Today, for those of us who, who who choose to be wise and say, "God, like I did when I was 24, I'm 52 now. I, when when I was 20, sorry, 25 years old, I said, 'God, I give my life to you, and now doing things my way. I don't know anymore. I can't do it anymore.'" When I gave my life to Jesus when I was 25, I became a child of God. 
我相信很多人都清楚明白说，说呃，当我们接受主耶稣基督为我们的救主之后呢，我们就成为了他的孩子。So this precious chapter, Second Corinthians chapter four, is telling us: listen, we are not just children of God; we are children servants of God. I'm a child and a servant of God. Sometimes we forget. Oh, I'm a child of God. I can do whatever I like. I can just sleep, still sleep around. I don't have to. Do what God wants me to do. I can cheat. I can lie. I don't have to touch people's life. No, you will see throughout the scriptures, and I'm just bringing to you one chapter today. The Word of God again and again and again says that as believers, we are not just children of God. We are also servants of God. So never there forget. Don't just enjoy being a child of God. We need to also enjoy. Everybody say yes, enjoy. Yes, you can enjoy. Enjoy. Yes, enjoy being a servant of God. Why do you think I love serving God? Why do you think every opportunity I get, oh, a man, the pastor, man, or you did announce about the cleaning of the church? Why do you think when I hear such a number, I get excited? I want to do that. I want to serve God in that little way. I want to be a befriender. Well, I want to be a sign language interpreter. Why do you think? I think I want to many things to do in my life because I know the importance of not just being a child of God. The importance of being a servant of God, and who can say that's true? Come on, that's true. And the word of God tells us over and over. And telling you, brothers and sisters, what a joy! Being a servant of God is not a chore. Trust me. As you grow thirtyfold, sixtyfold, hundredfold in realizing the beauty of being a servant of God, you want to fight for the rights to live your life as not just a child of God, but a child servant of God. 很多时候呢，因为我们在享受着成为呃耶稣基督的孩子，那么忘了其实我们也是呃一个仆人。所以呢，我们不只是要做神的孩子，我们还要做神，我们还要身为一个啊、呃、神的孩子的仆人。就是说呢，每一每逢当我们有那个机会能够来侍奉神的时候呢，我们应该要抓紧这个机会啊、呃、去侍奉神。I just want to give you a gentle reminder. All of you have gifts. Say that's me. Come on, say that's me. All of you have gifts. Some can interpret in Mandarin. Come, some can interpret in sign language. Some can talk. Some can. Some some people are so nice with strangers. You know, I'm. I can be that. You know, like I can be friendly to someone I just met and never met before. From Adams, I can be friendly. So we all have different gifts. Some of you like driving. You can fetch people with your car. So we all have gifts. Let me tell you this gentle reminder: every gift that we have is given to us by God for a purpose. Yes, you can use those gifts to make some money, blah blah blah. But ultimately, every gift you and I have, gift of cooking like Auntie Lucy, which she is using, you know, gift with the with technology like Brother Chris there. Can you, whenever he's absent, the whole technology of this just go upside down, for real, for real. You know, so every gift that God has given us, massage is a gift you can massage. It's an amazing gift. I love massages. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So every gift that God has given, yeah, you can use those gifts a little bit、uh, for to make some money and blah blah. But let me tell you, gentle reminder: this is for real. Every gift, even your car is a gift. Every gift that we have is for us to serve God ultimately. Did you get that? Did you get that? I I have this gift of teaching. I'm a teacher, not to to teach and make people like me. Who cares if you like me or not? If you like me, it's a bonus. Who can say hallelujah? Every gift, the gift of teaching, the gift of writing, an author, whatever it is, every gift that God has downloaded into us, every precious thing, I want you to think right now, even as I proceed in my sermon, are you using them for God? If not, it's time to consider. It's time. It's time. As simple as cooking, as simple, you don't have to have great, great, amazing gifts. Like you are very good in arranging chairs. I'm not so good in those kind of things. Not belittling those things. Use it for the Lord. Say, Holy Spirit, show me where can I use this gift. I want to use them. You are good with children. You think you are good in children for fun? People don't like children, but you like. You see children, you go gaga. Oh, I'm so cute, so cute. I don't do that. But eventually, I'm not into kids. Man, I love children, but I don't know. Oh, I'm so cute. There must be a reason why you were created that way by your Father, by your Creator. Who can say Amen? amen. Think about it. Why do you think God? Because God does not. I was fellowshiping with some brothers last night, and I told them there's nothing that God does for fun. Everything that God does is for a reason. <laughs> 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 I 
I'm not so merciful in, to my interpreter. <laughs> you know, like I love to teach. I go on and on at this poor girl that how am I supposed to interpret that? <laughs> Summarize. <laughs> OK， 我们啊，我们要知道说，我们每一个人呢都有这个恩赐。那么温馨提醒，这个恩赐呢是来自啊神。OK， 所以而且神给我们这一些恩赐呢，不是啊让我们啊享受而已。那么这些恩赐呢，其实是要让我们啊被大大的使用啊，去祝福别人。就比如说，如果你有一辆车啊，或者你很厉害按摩啊，或者你很厉害翻译啊，或者你很厉害煮菜啊，你很你对小孩子非常的感兴趣啊。要知道这一些呢，都是来自神，神给我们的那一个恩赐，让我们有这一个啊、呃、恩赐呢，能够去侍奉他。Oh, that's amazing! Give a clap! <笑> Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That's a gift. I wouldn't be able to do that. You speak so much, and I interpret, I concise it, perfect, not perfectly, imperfectly. You know. <laughs> so yeah, let's thank you, Jesus. So let's dive into the chapter, and remember, it's not just now, but throughout the week. Okay. Verse one, it's let's go. Therefore, since we and this this is speaking to believers, this chapter is not for any Tom, Dick, and Harry. This chapter is for those of you who believe in Jesus, and that's all of you in Jesus' name. I pray, Hallelujah. Therefore, since we have this ministry, everybody say ministry. ministry. As we have received mercy, say mercy. mercy. We do not lose heart. 哥林多后书第四章第一节，我们既然蒙怜悯，受了这职分，就不上胆。So I want you to pick up. Don't be distracted. They will settle down. Don't worry. Look at me. We are here to bless you. They will settle down. Listen. I want you to pick out the words from this verse. Okay. The first one is ministry. Ministry is serving God. Everything that we do for the Lord. If she is listen. If she is interpreting right now, listen. If she is interpreting right now for the glory of God. I'm doing this to bless the deaf. Okay, I'm here because not to be popular. I'm not here to make some money. I get paid whatever. She's not paid, by the way. You know, so all, all that she's doing for Jesus. Do not simply call what you do ministry. I can if I'm, I'm if I am going to mic and talking, 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 and my goal is to get a, to get a salary or to get paid or to get famous. That's not ministry. Do not simply call what you do ministry. Are you listening? So everything that we do is ministry, as simple as flower arrangements or chair decorating or sweeping the car. Everything that we do in the name of Jesus for the glory of God is ministry. Did you get that? So brother Chris can be doing an amazing job there, but he's doing that because I have to do it. If I don't, then Reverend will not be happy. That's not ministry. So we gotta check. Do not simply call what you do is ministry. I pray in Jesus' name that all of us will understand and distinguish. What is ministry and what is not? And in the same way, sometimes you're doing some. I'm helping the poor, but I'm not helping for Jesus. I'm helping the poor because I kasihan them lah. You know, I got money so I help. That even that is not ministry. That's community work. Is community work bad? No, it's good. Everybody say it's good. Yeah. But nothing beats ministry. Doing in the name of Jesus for the glory of God, touching souls, blessing lives. So I pray that the, the our each and every one of us here, our ministry life will be enlarged. In Jesus' name, who can say Amen? Hallelujah. 呃，这节里面提到的这一个字，呃，我们要注意一下，那就是职分。职分呢，就是神，呃，就是事工，那就是呢，为神，呃，服服侍，服侍神。所以，当我们讲到这个事工的时候呢，我们要知道呢，我们的最终的那个目的，我们侍奉，我们来服侍呢，那是因为要荣耀神。如果你荣耀，如果你在服侍的时候呢，你是因为说，哦，我如果不这样子做的话呢，等一下 r e v e r e n d 会不开心。哦，如果啊，我我觉得我这样帮助这个穷人，那是因为呢，我觉得他很可怜。那么，只要我们的心不对，只要我们不是因为要荣耀神的话呢，那就不是一个事工。所以，当我们讲说我们做事工的时候呢，我们一定要清楚知道，我们的最终的目的呢是要来荣耀我们的神。In this church, we have a lot of opportunity to serve the Lord in ministry. I'm telling you, any of you say, "Are you actually? I'm not doing much for God." You want to do something? Come and see me. Come and see Pastor Amanda. Come and see Elder Cheryl. There are lots of things to be done, virtually, physically, whatever it is. Okay, so ministry is not difficult to do. Ministry, ministry is not about your abilities. Ministry is about your availability. Are you listening? You have to avail yourself. Say, God, here I am. I'm nothing much, but here I am. I want to do something for you, for your glory, to touch the lives of people. 
所以在这个教会里面呢，你其实有很多的机会呢，能够啊、呃、来服侍神。所以如果你有兴趣的话呢，你可以呃向我们说，我们可以告诉你说你在哪里一方面呢，能够啊、呃、来啊、呃、服服侍我们的神。I just want to call one person out, not come out, just call your name. I want to just call Josephine out. You don't have to come here. I'm just calling your name. You know, uh, I love your transportation ministry. You know, from and it's just not now. I've known Josephine for many many years. And I'm not praising you for no reason, you know, for the glory of God. I've known her, and, and she, her, God has blessed her with a car. A car was not bought; she didn't buy a car. Somebody got used to bless her with a car, and since day one, she has been using her car for ministry. And I know it's pure ministry because I I know her. She's not she's not a stranger to me. And after today, you know, you just say anyone who needs the you know transportation. Someone,、uh, of course, please don't abuse her, you know, and simply ask her for transportation. But she has a heart for transportation, and she's not the best driver in the world, by the way. Okay, yeah, she's not. She's an average driver, but a big heart. You know, a lot of I mean, nearly everybody here has a car, but not everybody here is serving in transportation ministry, and it is a ministry that's so needed. So, precious Josephine, you know, keep it up. You know, so my my point is there are hundred and one ways to serve the Lord. You don't have to be a speaker, a teacher, an interpreter. There's so many ways by just using your car to bless people in Jesus' name. Who can say Hallelujah? hallelujah. Be inspired by Josephine. Be inspired by people like her. Be, be inspired by those who are serving God. Never grow tired. You know, and in this verse again, I'm going to read.、Um, Read verse one again. Therefore, and it's a powerful verse to to kickstart the chapter. Therefore, since we have the this ministry, all that we do for God, that we are blessed by the opportunity to serve God. This ministry, as we have received mercy, meaning what? We don't have the rights to serve God in ministry, but because God's mercy upon our lives, because of God's mercy, now we can serve in ministry. Are you following? Come on, are you following? Don't think, oh, I have a car. I can no, no. Because if if you if you if, you, if God's mercy is not upon your life, you can't serve in your transportation ministry. So every ministry we have is because of the mercy of God upon our lives. Are you following? And the last phrase, and the last phrase, do not lose heart when you serve God in ministry, whether as an author or an interpreter or a transporter, whatever. If you serve God. There will be days when you will face challenges. What do you do? Do not lose heart. Who can say Amen? amen. Hallelujah. Um, so to short the sharing. Ah, our church in there is this Josephine. Um, 那么呢，他在这个交通施工方面呢，服侍的很好。他有这一辆车，那么这个车呢是人家祝福他的。那么他当他使用呢他的车呢来接送啊、呃、别人。所以我，我呃要讲的重点呢，就是我们有很多的方式呢，能够来服侍神。所以接送再送别人呢，是其中的一个啊、呃、方式，是我们可以服侍神的。所以，我们倒回去来看《哥林多后书》第四章第一节。我们既然蒙怜悯，我们要清楚知道说，我们今天能够侍奉神，那是因为我们得着了神的这一个。啊，怜悯，然后我们本来是不配得的，但是因为神怜悯我们，让我们有这个机会呢，能够来啊服侍神，受了这职分就不上当。那么我们也要清楚知道，当我们来服侍神的时候呢，我们会遇到挑战。当我们遇到挑战的时候呢，我们不要放弃，我们不要气馁，我们要继续的来服侍我们的神。Just like recently, you know, uh, we we welcome Dr. Kela this morning, isn't it? Yeah, she's someone I just met because we we have a, a mutual friend, and Dr. Kela is two months in Malacca. She's a newbie in town, the new. New girl in the block, you know. So we have a mutual friend, and that friend of mine,、uh, his name is Ken. He says,、uh, "I think you 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 be you be good you be good if you could be friends with Kayla. You know, she's new. Okay, she's doc. She's a doctor, by the way. And、uh, yeah, and then、uh, see, yeah, of course. And the moment I I got this invitation to be introduced to Dr. Kayla, ministry. Are you listening? Every opportunity is ministry to be to be a blessing to this girl." And I said, but of course, because I'm a man, I don't want to go out with her alone. But, you know, sometimes we have to be, even in ministry, you have wisdom. Who can say amen? So I quickly called Vicentina. You know, I, I've, I've, I've met this, this new girl in town, this new girl in the block. Shall we just go and chill with her? So yeah, the three of us had a good time. We met in Egg Extra, chat for two hours. I'm not sure. I don't know how much. And she brought a son. So that's so. And there's that. Don't have to crack your head to serve the Lord in ministry. You don't have to do it. Just go for it. Just do it as Nike says. Who can say Amen? amen. And lo and behold, Kella, Doctor Kella is here. 
Hallelujah. Now, one ministry leads to many other good things. When you do ministry with the right attitude for the right reason, without ulterior motives. Who can say amen? Thank you, Jesus. 所以今天早上我们介绍了 Dr. Kala. OK， 他在我们的当中。那么他其实是呃呃，刚刚到了马来西亚，大概两个月而已。所以呃，因为呃有一个朋友介绍了他给牧师，所以呢就他讲好啊，可以，他就联络了他。然后呢呃，当他一到知道说呃有这一个人介绍给他之后呢，他第一个想到这是一个施工，这是一个很好的啊、呃、机会呢来服侍阿巴父神。所以呢他就这样啊、呃、就呃，因为他是一个男的，对吧，牧师？所以呢啊、呃，当然有一个女性的那个领袖一起的话会更好。所以有时候我们施工的时候，我们也是要有那个。所以呢，呃 ，Reverend 呃，迪克蒂娜和 Doctor Kala 就见面了。所以你看，当我们服侍神的时候呢，背后没有任何的怀有任何的不好的目的，那么呢，我们就可以看到神那美好的旨意，呃，行。所以今天呢 ，Doctor Kala 在我们的当中。Yeah, let's go to the next verse. Okay, uh, verse two a. I'm going to break the first, second verse into two. Let's do the half, the first bit first. Two a. But we have renounced. So before you can enter into A, a successful ministry life. Now, these verses are talking, telling us what we need to do, pre, how to prepare ourselves to be a servant child of God. As I mentioned earlier, we need to have wisdom in serving the Lord. There are the do's and don'ts in ministry. Like as men, I shouldn't go out with Dr. Kela alone. I get a sister to come along. Are you following? You don't force、yeah. people to do things. You don't make people do things they don't want to do. Yeah, you just, you just that there are things that you need to learn from the Word of God. There are things that you need to learn from the spirit of God on how to be successful in the ministry as servants, children of God. 所以，呃，身为神的那一个孩子仆人呢，我们要有那一个智慧去学习神的话语，让圣灵呢来带领我们怎样去服侍我们的神。So the first, let's go to two A again. But we have renounced. Everybody say renounce. Okay. So, so sometimes you hear me say we need to renounce. It's biblical. Renounce is is you got to do it with your lips. I renounce, like for me, for me, I renounce a homosexual lifestyle. I renounce whatever that is not of God. And we all have things that we need to renounce. Not just ex homosexuals. We all tell the person beside you. You got to do renouncing too. Come on, tell each other. You got to do renouncing too. And renouncing is not just simply little. You know, a lot of people don't move forward because they have not renounced. Well, I'm an ex-gay, but you're still sleeping around with men. What ex-gay are you?、Uh, I'm an ex-liar, but you just lied five minutes ago. Duh. I'm, 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 I used to be proud. I'm not proud. No, I, I sense some, a lot of pride in what you just told me, bro. So we got to renounce.、Uh, renouncing is biblical. Everybody say it's biblical. You got to renounce. I don't want to fight with my daughter anymore. Renounce it. For no reason, you fight with your daughter. Maybe there's a renouncing that you have not done. You're always falling sick. Maybe you need to renounce sickness from your life. Renouncing is biblical. And renouncing is not just you feel something inside. You got to say, I don't want to be sick anymore. I don't want to be gay anymore. I don't want to lie anymore. I don't want to sleep around anymore. I don't want to watch porn anymore. I don't want to cheat people anymore. I don't want to be proud and arrogant anymore. I don't want to be lazy anymore. You got to say it. The word renounce is there for a purpose. Renounce is connected to repentance, but renounce is one step further. You declare that renunciation. 哥林多后书第四章第二节，乃将那些暧昧可耻的事弃绝了。所以这里提到这一个“弃绝”这一个字，当弃绝的时候呢，不只是心里面想，那么我我们也我们也要啊大声的说出来，宣告说我们不再啊、呃、要成为那个啊啊、呃呃、说骗话的人，我们不再要做那一个啊、呃、同性恋者。所以我们不只是在心里想，我们也要从嘴上呢说出来。Hallelujah, there is so much power in confession. There is so much power in renouncing. Of course, everything that you do in the in the things of God, do it with wisdom. You don't go to any topic. I renounce. No, you renounce. Renounce in the presence of godly people. Who can say amen? Renounce with your prayer partner. Renounce with your befriender. Okay. So let's move on with this verse. But we have renounced the hidden things of shame. In other words, we renounce the things that's not of God. I'm saying this again. I feel that someone here. Need to hear this. One of the reasons why you have not, you are still in that bondage because you have not renounced that whatever you are struggling with. You got to open that mouth and renounce. I renounce, and renounce not just one time. 
You got to renounce until you are set free. You know in your spirit, Whoo! I've been lifted up. I've been lifted up. You know, you got to be, can, sadness can be renounced. For no reason you are sad. You wake up and you wake up in the morning, you are sad. You got to renounce sadnesses. Some of you are just pure confused. You're such a confused person. Like blur and confused at the sotong. You got to renounce confusion. Renounce blurness. Well, I'm blur, I have no choice, I'm blur. Slap you on your face. Renounce blurness and be alert in Jesus' name. And who can say amen? amen. A lot of people are, 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 are declaring, oh, I'm, my mother is blur, I also blur, oh. My grandmother also blur, it's in the, in the gene. We are all blur folks. <laughs> Instead of renouncing, you declare stupidity. My grandmother got cancer, my mother got cancer. Sure, I also will not cancer. Proudly say you need to slap on your face because you are, you are declaring stupidity. You say you got to renounce and break generational curse in my life. And who can say amen? amen? Open that mouth and begin to renounce. And the Spirit of God will just lead you. You spend time with God. I experience this over and over again. I've been spending time with God since I was 25 and I'm still spending time with God every day. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to brag here. I get nothing from bragging. And in my spending time, we call it quiet time with God. I do a lot of renouncing. And the Spirit of God remind me, pride, bro. Son, Edmund learns me, that's pride. I'm sorry, Lord. I renounce pride. I renounce fear. Often I fear for my darling girl. I have a daughter in Sabah. Now and then I'll be tempted to be worried about her. My baby is there. I will renounce fear. Let fear be gone. In Jesus' name, I renounce you. I'm not going to be fearful. My God will take care of my darling girl. Who can say amen? amen. Renounce what needs to go. So there's a lot of things that's not of God that you need to renounce. 那么我们要知道没有智慧当我们要宣告这个气绝的时候呢我们要有智慧的跟人分享不是随便你看到任何一个人你都要大声的宣告说你要气绝某一个罪然后呢你这个宣告气绝的时候呢是一个持续的就不
What are you announcing, bro? Repent, bro. You got to renounce. In Jesus' name. In Jesus, I begin to look at this man as my brother and not as a sex partner. Who can say amen? amen. Renounce and not announce. You start walking your leg, you feel like my leg pain. Oh, I think uh, something, good, I'm good. something bad could happen to me. Uh. I'm scared. Uh. What are you announcing? Renounce in Jesus' name. I declare and decree strength upon my leg. And who can say amen? amen. Stop announcing. Start renouncing. Who can say hallelujah? Maybe that should have been my sermon, sermon title. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, 所以这个词弃绝你这一个COVID不会发生在我的身上所以我们要清楚知道我们公布一件事和我们宣告弃绝是两件不同的事情所以我们要选择后者 Your life, brothers and sisters and especially my sons and my daughters in this church Okay, listen Okay, you, you begin to renounce Okay, I'm telling you, grow in your renouncing Your life is going to change I promise you that because that's biblical There is power in confession the Bible says clearly there is power in the tongue of the king. And as, as children of God, the Bible clearly tells us that we are a royal priesthood. It means you are kings and queens in the Lord who can say amen. So be Christful. Don't simply announce negative. Your, your, your son is misbehaving. You're a lousy boy. You're never going to be somebody great if you don't change. That's announcing rubbish. So begin to renounce things. Huh? This is so important. Right. Uh, 我要补充一点 我们要知道说撒旦魔鬼和所有的天使其实不知道我们的脑海和我们的心里所想的事情他只能够从我们的行为上观察我们所以只要我们不说出我们的行为上不表现出其实撒旦魔鬼和天使不会知道所以我们要
只将真理表明出来，好在神面前把自己见于个人的良心。Okay, what does it mean by the manifestation of the truth? Okay, the renouncing is done. Walking the way God wants us to, with the help of the Holy Spirit, of course. As Christians, as believers, we are not independent. We are Christ-dependent. Who can say Amen? And that's a beautiful thing. The Holy Spirit come inside of us and journey with us. Okay, we don't do life alone. So I've, I've never been lonely since 25 years old. I've been alone many times. I've been alone many times. I'm still alone sometimes, but I'm never lonely. Never, because I truly have the Spirit of God inside of me. And in the same way, the Holy Spirit wants to come inside of each one of you. Whoever is struggling with loneliness, you got to question yourself. As believers, if God says, "I will never leave you nor forsake you," then why in the world are you still lonely? Alone and lonely are two different things. And who can say amen? amen. Who can really say amen? amen. Hallelujah! So, as, and we, all that we God is calling us to do as believers is never alone. You don't serve in ministry alone. You have the best ministry partner. His name is Holy Spirit. Who can say Amen? You don't handle your marriage alone. You don't raise up your child alone. You raise up your child with your partner, the Holy Spirit. You don't do your work alone. Everything is done with the Holy Spirit. Who can say Hallelujah? So, we are in the Holy Spirit. We are not alone. We can be one person. But we know that we are not alone. Because the Holy Spirit tells us that the Holy Spirit is always with us. The Holy Spirit does not leave us. So, if this Holy Spirit is true, then we can be alone. So, we can be one person. But we have the best friend. That is the Holy Spirit with us. So, we will not be alone. So, I am going to finish with this. Because of time, I am going to end here. Okay, we will continue talking about this on Thursday. Okay, I'm going to end here. Um, I'm going to continue with uh, verse 2b. But by manifestation of the truth, commanding. Everybody say commanding. Okay, you are as you walk in the way of the Lord, as a true ex-liar, as a true ex-transgender, as a true ex-adulteress, whatever act, we are all some kind of acts. Okay, God is going to be praised. The word commander, commanding means your lifestyle is going to be commendable. People are going to say, wow, I see something about this person. I mean, how many of you get that all the time? You need to get it all the time. People look at you and you don't see Jesus, something is wrong somewhere. Yeah, people look at, people look at us, they say, I see something different about this guy. I see something different about this lady. And they did something good. Because you know why? You have renounced and now you're walking with the Lord in the way that you need to be. I see something different about this servant of God. I see something different about this interpreter, and that's how you are. Jesus must be praised through our lives, through our ministry. We don't go around doing ministry and then say, "Oh, look how good I am in ministry." No, ministry is about glorifying Jesus and not self. And who can say Amen? amen. Who can say Amen? amen. You know, like when, when I met Dr. Kela, it was like I was hoping Dr. Kela is going to see Jesus with me. I hope he did. Maybe you did. Yeah, you can tell me later. You know, so it's not, I'm not there to say, oh, Dr. Keller, let me see how good I am. That's so good. That's not my goal. I hope Dr. Keller is going to see Jesus in my interaction with her. Who can say amen? That's what amen. ministry is all about. That's how you want to, you want to be commendable. You want to be, you want to say, wow, you, you, are, you are different species. I remember you say when you walked out of the, our meeting from A, so you said, I feel good meeting you guys. I want to get to know you all better. You guys are nice. Do something like that. You know, that's, that's, that's what it means, you know? Let's move on. Commanding ourselves. Listen, every, in the verse, I'm reading the verse, every man's conscience in the sight of God. So all the good that we do, you fetch people, Josephine, you interpret, Deacon Elena, I preach, I take time to be with Dr. Keller, whatever that you do in ministry, remember, remember, you fetch someone from KL to come to church today, remember, it's for somebody's eyes only. The sight of God. And who can say amen? amen? You don't do all... If what you are doing for people to see, for people to say thank you very much for your hua yi, eh? if you want people to praise you, then what you are doing is not ministry. Are you listening? You want to go far as a child servant of God. You better make sure. You know, you know and you know. All that you do in ministry is for the sight of God. And who can say amen? amen? Do well, do great, perform, serve, 
whatever, do amazing things, write books, but do it for one audience, and that is the sight of God. Who can say Amen? Amen. 当我们作为呃真正的上帝的孩子的仆人的时候呢，我们继续在呃神里前进的时候呢，我们就会呃从我们的生活方式呢，呃让上帝本身的彰显，从我们的生活方式里面呢，上帝呢将会被彰显出来。而当上帝被彰显彰显出来的时候呢，我们就会别人就会看得见哦，我们的生命里面有这一个真神。那么当别人看见这一个真神的时候呢，我们的神的名字呢都将就会将啊、呃、被荣耀。所以我们要清楚的知道我们。服侍，我们做任何事情都好，我们只给一双眼睛看见，那就是我们的神。So I prepared so much more for to preach today, but because of time, I believe it's it's not a mistake. Whatever I shared today, it's supposed to be shared. But a lot more in my notes, and and、uh, the notes will be shared in our Facebook page, not Facebook group, but Facebook page. Please go there, do yourself a favor as you study this chapter, and also go to my notes. Okay,、uh, it will be shared soon. I one of the leaders will share soon, and and check out the notes that、uh, the Spirit of God has led me to prepare. A lot of good stuff from this chapter that we can we can、uh, you know garner from. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. 昨天早上呢，其实呃准备了相当多的这个奖章，但是呢，因为时间的关系，所以无法一一的完全分享。但是不用担心，因为啊、呃、这个奖章呢，啊、呃、将会被分享在我们的呃面子书上面，所以呢，你到时候呢能够去看。当你一面呃阅读神的话语的时候，这一章的时候呢，你也一面可以看见啊、呃、那个笔记，让你更加的了解神的话语。